AJ, I'm the camera chef, and guess what I got? Today is my birthday. It actually is my birthday. Guess what I got myself? I got myself a Digi Boy out. I've heard a lot about this. This thing, check this out. 35 liters digital controller accurately set temperature from 0 to 120 Celsius. Reliable and simple to use. We'll see about that. Fully electric, 304 stainless construction, and powerful. <laughs> this is where, this is one of those moments where you go, <laughs> like Tim, Tim the Tool Man Taylor, right? We're gonna unload this bad boy. So, looks like the main feature here is, is you're able to melt a whole bunch of wax at once, keep the temperature, and have an easy pour spot. Oh my god, this thing is huge. Alright, so here's the unboxing. The first thing that you get out of the box is styrofoam instruction manual. There is a 35 liter and a 65 liter digital boil, and that's what I want to get next. We don't need that. Okay, so this this little spout that comes with it is very durable. Holy moly. Like this is this is very heavy. All the mechanical sections on it look really, really durable. I'm pretty sure if, if the wax gets caught in here that we'll be able to take the heat gun. And since this is all metal, there's no plastic parts to this whatsoever, except for the heat resistant uh, handle. It has this little bowl. All right, we'll figure that out in just a minute. See if we can do all this without reading the manual. Challenge except for the spout. We have the lid, it's nice. Has little holes. Yeah, you could actually put the wicks on on these little, probably do two at a time. And then just dip it into the digi-boil. Just keep dipping, keep dipping, and then it has some beeswax uh, dip candle. We have the handle. Now for the drum roll. Oh my god, this thing is humongous. Holy crap. You know how much wax I can put in that? Oh my god. It's my birthday! It's my birthday! I love you, Daddy Boy. <laughs> oh my goodness, this thing is freaking awesome! I, got, I just gotta show you this cavity there. Air, this this barrel. I'd like to compare. This is a four pound pot. Wax slabs come in a ten pound slab. And this holds almost half of it. Look at this thing. I wanted to show you this. Look at that. Look at that! That's a lot of wax! Now, I've been having problems with figuring out how to mass produce things and I don't think I have that problem anymore. Hello! Echo! Echo! Well, whoa! <laughs> Hello! Holy moly! Alright, so on the side of this right here, it has a little measuring chart. It says gallons and liters. I'll have to get like a little conversion chart for that because I go by pounds, not gallons. I'm actually... I'm actually seriously contemplating getting another one of these just for some Mountain Dew. See if we can get these uh, restraints off. And I know I'm not the only one. When I unpack something, I always look at it and consider, okay, what can I, what can I use that for? You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ooh, this could go in one of my boxes. And so it'll be a nice little little lining, and then I can put the I can put some drink candles in there, and then I'll have yeah, this will be perfect for that. This is going in my shipping department. I'll do a video for you guys, show you how it works. Cause right now I am out of wax. <laughs> I am 100% completely out of wax. Like all the uh, everything on here is like super super robust and. So, it looks like we have a vent right there. Uh, from here to here is the heating element. It's got like a, a plastic outer section, you know, off on. And then not only do you have the switch, um, this is actually not plastic. It's actually heat resistant rubber. I really like that switch. Yeah. All right, so we have the hole for the spout. So then this goes in here. Maybe I'll, do, I'll get some rubber washers. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll get some rubber washers. That'll make sure the seals are really nice. And I'll still be able to take it out to clean it. 
Yeah, this would be perfect. Like, I can hold it here, a handle, and use my heat gun, and it'll uh, unclog this. Oh my goodness, this is huge. So we got our spout on. Oh. Oh, it works. I got it. No manual needed. Nice. This is the main feature of the Digivoil. This, plus the spout, plus the bigness of the tank, makes the Digivoil actually, like, literally perfect. If you're just doing this as a hobby, this is not the way to go. I would actually recommend um, a Presto Pot instead because it's like a little crack pot holds less if you're wanting to if you're getting a lot of orders this is the way to go if you're doing food candles and you're starting a business most likely you're gonna get busy everybody and their brother and their mother and their sister and their roommate and their dog sitters and their cousins and their teachers are gonna are wanting to get food candles right now i mean it is so popular right now so if you're doing food candles and you're in the candle chef academy because i i tell you what i i've been through uh i tell you what i've been through the groups out there that have the food candles and we have the candle chef academy we have the absolute best talent in the world uh being artistic and creative and food candles because some of the some of the creations that I see in there just uh, freaking amazes me. I, I really love everybody's uh, everybody's creations in there, and I, I don't I love them so much that even though even though even though I know I could probably make them, I, I order from you guys all the time. I see something and I'll, I'll order. Like uh, I just ordered an eggnog uh, caramel, a cinnamon cinnamon caramel eggnog candle, and I cannot wait to get that. That's gonna smell so good. But yeah, I order from you guys all the time. You guys are awesome. But anyway, so with this, this, and this. That's the main features. This right here, uh, you can do exact temperatures. Yeah, I wonder. Okay, so the spout, the spout right here is right next to the bottom of, of the tank right here. So whatever temperature it is. Yeah, I, I see. I see the temperature gauge. So if you looked right down there, um, right by the spout, there's a little knob right there. That is the temperature gauge. So whatever temperature it says on here is most likely what temperature you're going to get right away. Unless you like pour a whole bunch and you like pour out like three, four gallons and then you're getting up towards the top and the top isn't as hot as the bottom. So the top's probably going to be a little bit cooler than the bottom, especially uh, on the timing, depending on when you when you put wax in and stuff like that. So I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be super, super accurate. And I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I, I only have one right now, and that's going to be for my 6027, which is a hard version of the 6006. And uh, it's a parasoy, so and I'm actually able to use that for pretty much everything. I'm, I can use that for embeds, crust. I can use that for the filling. I can use it for uh, the pina coladas. The the only thing that I'm I'm iffy about is is the glass containers, the drink glasses, like the pina coladas and the coffees. Since um, 6,020, or yeah, 6,027 is parasol. It has a lot of paraffin in it. Uh, paraffin likes to shrink, and I don't like the big old bubbles that you get when when wax shrinks. And so we'll see. We'll see. I may have to keep doing four, you know, four, four, four in my pots. And just a little secret for you guys that took my classes: 6,027 with with a little mineral oil works just as good as 4 for 4 in whipping cream. Pro tip, ooh, we have different wattages. I didn't see these. So we got two switches here, same types of switch over there, but this one is for 500 watts, and this one is for 1,000 watts. Leave comments below on, on if you know what the 1,000 and 500 watt switches are for. This is the DigiBlow. This is my birthday gift to myself, and uh, happy birthday to me, and thank you guys for the love, and the likes, and the support. And don't forget to sub on my YouTube channel, I'm going to have so many cool videos on my YouTube channel, it's going to be nuts. 
Yeah, you guys, you guys are in for a treat. I have different ways that you can do silicone molds. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do silicone molds at home. I'm gonna be showing you how to do professional looking silicone molds. Or for you hobbyists, I'm gonna show you how to do silicone molds cheaply with materials that you can get at Walmart. Let me give you a little teaser. So there's gonna be two kinds of silicone molds um, that I'm going to be doing a video on. And this one right here is something, uh, a material that you can pick up at Walmart or order online and you can make things um, let's say you do a scoop of ice cream you have this material you can actually use it uh, it's kind of like a one one-time use type mold uh, unless you're like super super careful you could probably get like two or three out of them but I'm going to show you how to do this and guess how much this costs this costs 50 cents to make 50 cents to make the second kind is this kind right here this thing uh, a normal cr uh, five inch crust mold, silicone mold, usually weighs in between 15 to 25 ounces, which is like a, a pound, a, like almost a pound to a little over a pound, depending on the method that the silicone company uses. I am going to show you guys how to get this material, what company to buy it from, how to do it, how to get your actual uh, model and then how to do the silicone and this thing actually weighs only about 3.5 ounces the silicone usually uh, usually costs about a dollar an ounce so with this only cut uh, only weighing 3.5 ounces this five inch pie crust is only gonna cost you three dollars and fifty cents to make at home and I'm gonna show you how to do that I'm gonna show you how to do it for 50 cents like a one-time use and I'm also gonna show you how to do it uh, with, with professional grade uh, silicone. And I have so many things like that in store for the channel. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do silicone molds, what waxes to use. Actually learning right now how to do FX, blockbuster movie grade FX and prop building. And I'm also learning how to do cosplay. And I'm gonna mix FX and cosplay into food art. And it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I'm creating my own style, I'm creating my own channel, never before done. Don't forget to uh, subscribe so you don't miss out. And it'll probably be anywhere in between mid-January and uh, beginning of February, but I'm, I'm hoping mid-January. About the same time, I'm going to open the Candle Chef Academy, so if you guys are wanting to learn how to do candles, uh, I will have a, a legit... Candle Chef Academy, where you guys do classes and courses and, and get credits and get um, certificates and sign up for different things and, yeah, and request different things. And, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. All right. This is the Digibo. Happy birthday to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Love, I love the candle community. The Candle Chef.